to the format of our science. Uh, today I am going to discuss uh, regarding uh, microbiology. And in case of microbiology, uh, first of all I am going to take the common terms uh, which are used in microbiology, uh, which including uh, first of all immunogen. Immunogen is the substance that induces the specific immune response. And the difference between immunogen and antigen is that the immunogen is a substance which uh, induces the specific immune response, while the antigen is a substance which reacts with the products of the specific immune response. So here it induces and this reacts with the products of specific immune response induced by the immunogens. Now next is the haptans. What are the haptans? Generally these haptans are the non-immunogenic but which can react with the products of the specific immune response and haptans are the small molecules which could never induce the immune response when administered by themselves but which can when coupled with the carrier molecules three haptans can react with the products of the immune response after such products have been elicited happens have a property of the antigenicity but not immunogenicity. So it's clear that uh, happens uh, have antigenicity but not immunogenicity. So it can react with the immune response products but in, it cannot induce the immunogenicity. Next is the epitope. It is generally present on the antigen or it is also known as the antigenic determinant. Because the portion of the it is the portion of the antigen which combines with the product of the specific immune response. It is antigenic determinant which combines with products of antigenic response, sorry not immune, uh, specific immune response. Next is the, this is all about antigen and immunogen, the next is the antibody. What is antibody? Antibody is generally a specific protein which produced in response to the immunogen and it reacts with the antigen. Antigen, it is produced in response to the antigen's immunogenicity and it reacts with the antigen to neutralize it. Either it can neutralize or either it can exaggerate the further responses. Next is the adjuvants. What are the adjuvants? Adjuvants are substances that can enhance the immune response to an immunogen. That uh, suppose one immunogen is there. Immunogen is having the suppose uh, X level of uh, immune response, adjuvant can exaggerate that up to 1.5 X or 2 X. Just example, that right, it can exaggerate the response. The use of adjuvant is often hampered by the undesirable side effects such as fever and inflammation. So this induced response may show fever and inflammation. Next is the pathogens. What are the pathogens? Pathogens are the microorganisms which has ability to cause a disease. They can cause disease. Okay. Next is the virulence. Virulence is the capacity of the microorganism to invade in the body, to enter in the body. Next is the attenuation. Attenuation is the process. By synthesis, we, we induce, uh, sorry, not induce, we reduce the virulence of the pathogen. We all know the virulence is the capacity to invade in the body, and the pathogen are the microorganisms which induces the disease. So, attenuation is the process which reduces the virulence, reduces the virulence of the pathogen. Next is the exhalation. It is this uh, completely reverse process of attenuation in which, sorry, exhalation, 
uh, it is a complete uh, reverse process of attenuation here we reduce the virulence here we exaggerate the virulence so this is all about the common terminologies used in microbiology thank you for further videos please subscribe to the pharma toppers thank you so much